Good evening, parents, teachers, students, and guests. Today, I would like to talk to you about the concept of understanding your place in the world. Hello, my name is Harper Lang, and I want to talk to you about being a TCK. Now, I assume most of you in the room know what I'm talking about before I expand on the abbreviation. However, if you do not, TCK stands for Third Culture Kid. Me, us, a lot of us actually. Being a third culture kid means we've grown up through different homes, cultures, and languages. It means we weren't raised in the same house, our childhood concrete handprints aren't visible by the driveway, and at least for me, it means home is a tricky subject. Home indicating origin or where I'm from. And as a third culture kid, that's always a tricky question to answer. So today I would like to discuss with you the concept of understanding your place in the world through my perspective, or on a wider scale, through the perspective of a third culture kid. Now most of you can say you were raised by your parents and grandparents, surrounded by aunties and uncles and long-term family friends. And I could too. However, some terms became more fluid to me. For example, I was raised by aunties, but they spoke beautiful Kiswahili and had hair different to mine. They taught me about their culture and their language, and I grew up in constant awe of the beauties of the world. Growing up as a third culture kid, it's as if you're a tapestry woven by threads from multiple cultures, experiences, languages, songs, smiles, and beauty. Beauty from all around. Beauty from the tongue speaking a language I don't know. Beauty from the songs and the drums that just force a smile to your lips. Beauty from the shared cultures and experiences. Being a third culture kid stems from the very essence of union of diverse cultures and experiences, forging a sense of identity so uniquely your own. However, being a third culture kid can be challenging in the sense that you must fully choose your perspective free from the biases of a home. However, this can't be seen as a positive or negative thing, rather both. Through this journey of self-discovery, identity formation, and global perspective, do we become whole? Your journey begins with your parents, their origin, and where they claim home. Do you claim their culture, or do you claim the cultures you swallow through experience? Or rather, which culture claims you in the sense that we cannot choose where we feel at home? We cannot dictate where our mind and body feels at rest. We must simply let our body guide us to the correct answer, which admittedly is hard. The roads are many, and you are one. Personally, I've learned to embrace the multiple cultures within me, and that I do not belong, nor have to belong to one place. I've always found it difficult to understand my place in the world when the question, where are you from, has me dumbstruck. Because I simply do not have an applicable answer. Do I say where I was born, even though I only lived there for months? Do I say where my passport says I'm from, even though I've never lived there? Every time I'm burdened with this question, I'm forced to answer with a confusing and contradicting sentence that usually follows. Technically, I'm from the US but I've grown up overseas. However, the term overseas doesn't let me express how I learned to swim in the Indian oceans of Dar es Salaam, or how I marched the streets of Kinshasa, Congo, or how my arms have grown strong from mixing Shima with my aunties over the years. So I ponder, how can I understand my place in the world when I don't know where I'm from? Because I'm not from the, the borders of Mexico and Texas, I'm not from the colors on a flag, and I'm not from the chorus of a national anthem. I'm from the scrapes on my knees from climbing a baobab tree. I'm from the sun on my skin as I watch baby turtles hatch and sprint from the water. I'm from hearing an avocado fall from a tree and racing to reach it. I'm from my Congolese driver teaching me how to make the shima. I'm from beautiful Arabic women staining henna all over my arms. Through this, I believe I know where I'm from. I draw strength from the mosaic of my experiences forming a sense of identity and understanding that transcends borders of countries and challenges where I appear to be from. Growing up as a third culture kid has let me cross bridges through cultures and experience things that have altered my perspective so entirely. I wonder if my past perspective has been buried or if I had one to begin with. Because I've never known anything else. Not once has our name been on the property not once have I been with the same friends for more than five years. Not once has learning the official language of a country meant it remains the same for the next. Not once have I stayed still. 
However, I think I prefer this in the sense that I am the world moving around rather than the world moving around and without me. I'm able to indulge and experience rich cultures and diversities, bearing with me the capability to comprehend them fully. And although sometimes it can be jarring having to witness firsthand some inequalities you cry whilst reading about, it also helps center our gravity and humanity, being able to fully encompass the darkness and light of the world. I have to see uncles and aunties ripped from their homes due to corrupt government issues, and I'm forced to sit back and do almost nothing. And I'm never somewhere long enough to see the end of an issue. This itself is another issue. The constant cycle of moving can cause feelings of rootlessness to surface, as if I belong everywhere but nowhere at the same time. However, the feeling of everywhere is strong, with the world having left traces through me and me through the world. A constant reminder of my presence, I feel my global perspective prospers the gift of a truly unique perspective and one I value with the highest intentions. This life has left me witnessing the truly interconnectedness of cultures and people, aiding my perspective towards being an advocate for a more collaborative and empathic world, highlighting the shared humanity that connects us all. So, understanding your place in the world as a third culture kid can be challenging, having to grapple with your origin and identity through shared experiences. However, it has the capability to benefit and shape your perspective so uniquely. So I implore you not to limit yourself to a place in the world. Whether you're a third culture kid or not, we all have the capability to have a fully rounded and worldly perspective. So don't restrain yourself to a place in the world as if there's only one. Just because you look good in blue doesn't mean you won't look good in red. So whether you're a third culture kid or not, I implore you to embrace the full color reel. A rainbow is only truly beautiful when all colors can be seen. Thank you.